Alright, so here we go. Got a fun video, got an intro, and got some halves and dollar coins to go through. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. Alright. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. So I went to the bank today and they had, um, I've got one, two, three, four, five rolls of dollar coins, six rolls of halves, and then I've got a couple of bags full of loose dollar coins and halves that they had. So I'm going to sort through these, see what I find. Um, I don't know if I'm expecting to find anything awesome or major, but you never know. This might be great. This might be just uh, face value coins. But let, let, let me uh, move things out of the way and let's see what I got. Okay. That's both of the envelopes. Poured out. Had a lot of loose dollar coins and a few um, halves. halves are not silver halves, but I'll check them for any errors and varieties, and I will go and sort through, oh, oh yeah, I got two quarters in here as well, I forgot about those, alright, well, I'll go through these, sort them out, see what I got, take it to uh, Susan B. Anthony's here. So that one and two 1979s. They both look like they have the normal width on the rim. So nothing noticeable about those. I'll set those to the side there. Um, all right, let me stack these up out of the way. We'll crack open the house and see if, check the edges and see if we have any silver. And then I will sort through everything and I will let you know what I find as I come across it. So I was stacking all these up and I noticed I was mistaken. You see these copper cores? You see this one looks different? It's because it's a 1967. That is a 40%. I thought I heard a silver clink. Sounds slight different. Can you hear the difference? Yep. Awesome. So I got a 40% at and I paid 50 cents for it. Awesome. Well, since they're here, let's check out the first roll. Um, and I got all of these loose ones at two different banks. Then I got these rolls. And let's see. I don't see any silver in this one. Over here. I've got the stacks here. 
we'll go through these and check on all these and I'll bring you back as I find anything. I did uh, get a Ronald Reagan um, dollar coin. At some point, I, I forget when, I, they started releasing these in 2007. I think uh, they released them um, until 2010 or 11, maybe 12. They released for circulation and after that, the only way to get them was through the Mint. So any of the later presidents, such as Ronald Reagan, um, was not released into circulation. You had to actually buy them and then people probably put them into circulation. So that's pretty cool. Um, all right, let me search through these and I'll bring back and show you what I got. All right, so literally as I was sorting these out into stacks by dates and stuff, the last, very last coin, look at that, got a proof, got a proof, 1997S. I had an 80s that looked like it was a proof, but it wasn't, it was just uh, extra shiny. So, that's some neat little finds, got a proof, got a 40% and a proof, not bad, um, 90s, 80s, I've got three from 2000. Uh, I got 70s and I've got all these separated um, ones and I'm going to check for odds and ends. So cool, so far so good. All right, I've got all the dollars sorted by presidential sector wheels and Susan B. Anthony's. Everything sorted over here, the house. A little bit off camera. Um, now I'm gonna go through these and see what I find for any Types of errors and varieties. I wasn't looking at them too closely. Uh, these, um, I was just flipping them all face up and stacking them by type. Um, so yeah, this will be interesting. Let's see what I got. And I will bring you back when or if I find anything. Um, these, I took a quick look at the dates on the uh, Susan B. Anthony's. Um, I did not notice any wide rim varieties, but I'm going to take a good close look at them and see what I got. All right, going through the presidents. Probably not going to be able to see it here, but there's a slight little die chip on the corner of this, uh, president's chin here. I'll pop up a picture. Um, it is small, but it is interesting. So I figured I'd share it. All right, second to last, George Washington. This one has some doubling on the reverse over here where the um, rays of the crown hit the, uh, touch the arm. And I'll pop up a picture of it and uh, compare it with a normal one. Um, I'll have to look up and see which, uh, I believe it's DDR number one out on uh, Variety Vista, but I'll have to double check. All right, so I finished going through all the presidential dollars. Uh, nothing else major to report. Um, I did find a Richard Nixon, which is also another uh, one that wasn't released in the circulation. And if, um, if I, on the back of the Ronald Reagan I checked, and it has the same area doubling showing that shows for the Washington. So I'm gonna check on that, see if uh, that is double die as well and see if it's listed it, it you know and we'll see what's going on with that all right so for the second degree of dollars um i did not find anything on any of them so all right moving on all right so there was no real finds in the rest of the half dollars um so i did hit they get one, 40% half, so that's uh, silver, yay, um, to get that uh, proof. Um, so those are my first uh, first ever uh, silver half and, and a proof half pick up from a bank. Um, I've never, uh, I haven't been able to get full boxes or anything, just the rolls as they come in, a few rolls or coins here and there. So that's, that's awesome to, to get from the bank. Um, I would say I got three pocket coins here. 
because they look like they've been rubbed down really well on both sides. Um, I do have some Susan B. Anthony's and some uh, Bicentennials that look in nicer condition with some interesting toning that I'll probably hold on to. Um, I got a die chip dollar George Washington and the DDR. And then I got two, uh, two of the later date uh, presidential coins, uh, Richard Nixon and uh, Ronald Reagan. And the Ronald Reagan looks like it has a doubling on the reverse as well. I'm going to put out a separate video on a, going through detailing how I'm going to look up and see what those are. And, and if I can't find them, what I'm going to do to submit them for... Um, probably to either Koneka or to uh, John Wexler for verification on what they are. Um, all right, so I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Drop a comment down below, let me know what you thought. Um, thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.